I want to build the new number one demon in Geometry Dash. I want to make the new hardest level that's ever been created. Sounds simple enough, right? I just don't know where to start. I don't even know how to start writing this script. Like, what words should I use? What words would be ideal to describe my future Geometry Dash project that's harder than anything that's ever been rated and completed? What are words anyway? I think that's a good spot to begin with. I, alias, will be the first person to figure out words. Let's check the dictionary. There's loads of good words there. Okay, let's see. Bunglesome sounds like an interesting word. Bunglesome, meaning clumsy or awkward. Perfectly describes me, but not the level I'm planning to build. Let's check another dictionary. I heard there's an account on Twitter running a whole dictionary of his own, so let's see. Okay, all right. Ooh, there it is. Encephalitic. That word sounds cool. I wonder what it means. Encephalitis is an inflammation of the brain. That already sounds like something my new number one demon will be causing to those stubborn enough to play it. But I'd rather title it something expressionate rather than enticing. Like something beautiful. Something everyone wants to see. Eureka! Heaven. First definition, a place regarded in various religions as the abode of the god, or the gods, and the angels, and of the good after death, often traditionally depicted as being above the sky. Second definition, alias heaven, a discord server with its own original role acquiring based minigame worth joining through the link in the description. That's my next lead. The gods from the first definition of heaven gave me a clue through the second definition of heaven. The answer must lie there. I asked the people of alias heaven how to make the new number one demon. Copy and paste silent circles and buff it. Am I any closer to figuring out words? Don't ask me. Ask the members of Alias Heaven, which you can join through the link in the description. Anyway, Silent Circles is a very old impossible level that nobody can physically manage to beat. It was originally made to not be humanly possible. Humanly possible. Let's think about that. The highest achievable rank in Alias Heaven is the Pope rank. The Pope isn't human. Everyone knows that he's a lizard from planet Zog that can shoot lasers. So if I understood this correctly, I need to ask the Pope to beat Silent Circles for me and that will give me the next lead. Perfect, but how can I possibly talk to the Pope? I quickly found the answer to that. 19,000 people are asking the exact same question. Do they all want to verify silent circles? I have to be smarter than them. Mailing a letter is the most traditional choice. Okay, but what if I'm illiterate? What if I physically cannot write the letter? The Pope must have considered that possibility, so Silent Circles has probably held the answer this entire time. The famous philosopher Ivar once said, whenever you run into an obstacle, try the inverse method. The opposite of Silent Circles is loud rectangles. America is known for being very loud about their politics, and the state of Colorado looks like a rectangle. That must be where I find the answer. I traveled to Colorado, US, and found stunning mountains, beautiful lakes, and Karl Rove. Who's Karl Rove? Oh wow, he's got a whole website. He writes articles about politics. There is no way the answer to my number one demon lies in American politics. Maybe I got the wrong Karl Rove. I checked the list of famous celebrities from Colorado and no one else is named Karl Rove. So I decided to study every book ever written by Karl Rove and while doing so fell into an existential crisis. Okay, Colorado's pretty cool, but I heard Europe's also pretty cool, so I went back to my home country of Slovenia. I checked on Alias Heaven, which you can join through the link in the description, and oh look, my country's been here all along. This must be the answer. I'm happy now. Happy starts with age, just like heaven or hot. If a level is hot, everyone will want to play it. So, how do I make a level look hot? Conveniently, half of my country is on fire. Oh wait, that's not good, I better go help put it out. Oh, they told us not to go there. Let's make a quick hot recap of the situation. I've scouted dictionaries, strived to talk to the Pope, deciphered the letter H, been to Colorado, and binged watched every video made by Dragoon, who's been an inspiration for this video, and I've still come no closer to figuring out words. Wait. Words is a word. There's a Geometry Dash level that uses the song Words, Words, Words by Bo Burnham, but that's too much words. I need something with just enough words. Not too little and not too much. I forgot I was illiterate. I should first probably learn how to read. I spent 14 years trying to get educated, but unfortunately, I only learned that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Wait, how did I read Carl Rove's books if I can't read in the first place? I used Amazon Alexa to read them out for me. What if Alexa knows how to make the hardest level in Geometry Dash? Alexa? Hello. How do you make the hardest level in Geometry Dash? I'm sorry, I did not understand. Ah. But here's what I found on Amazon for how do you make the hardest level in Geometry Dash. Let's go! I always wanted a kitchen conversion chart magnet imperial and metric to standard conversion chart decor cooking- I immediately knew that Alexa gave me a huge lead in my pursuit of the plan by which I will be making the hardest level in Geometry Dash. In order to build my masterpiece, I will have to convert, but not religion-wise. If you ever try to convert from being a Christian, the Pope will definitely shoot you with his lasers. Even the people of heaven itself said so. By the way, you should join it through the link in the description. Instead, I will use my kitchen conversion chart master-
to convert myself into the level I'm planning to build. I weigh 80 kilograms, but to build a Geometry Dash level, you don't need your legs. Without legs, my weight is 65 kilograms. When we convert that into American pounds, we get the Imperial measurement of about 143 LBS. But what does 143 mean? In Geometry Dash, there are only a few things that you can measure when it comes to levels and numbers. You can see how many objects which level has, but building a top one with 143 objects only is not a thing we want to do. This is what a level with 143 objects would look like. So what else can you measure in a Geometry Dash level? Time. The level's length in seconds. And after having listened to Karl Rove's books on repeat for 127 hours, I have learned the true magnitude of time. The level has to be exactly 143 seconds long. So now that we've learned how long the level is, we need to choose the song that it will use. Every level in Geometry Dash has to use a song. Without the song, there is no level. I have once again decided to seek advice in Alias Heaven, which you should join by clicking the link to consult the great philosopher Ivar. I asked him what he likes, and he said Deltarune. Deltarune is a role-playing game made by Toby Fox. The player controls a human named Chris, who is, together with his friends Susie and Rousey, destined to save the world. Together, they travel through the dark world while encountering various enemies like COVID-97, or a crazy Shakespearean admiral, or mice. I started playing Deltarune and got stuck early on because I had way too much fun riding an elevator. I then fought a very smart bird, spoke to myself, made the game ridiculously difficult for myself, fought the very smart bird again, spoke to myself again, fought a really cool computer with long legs, then a slightly bigger version of that same really cool computer with even longer legs until I eventually reached the end of the chapter. However, I still had no lead on my song. Oh wait, there's an extra boss in Deltarune that's supposedly even harder to beat than the hardest level I'm planning to build? I should probably go check that out. I found his shop in a junkyard a place that is already referenced in one of the former top 1 levels. His name is Spamton, and he will surely give me the answer. Well, I'm not sure about that, but he surely wants to sell me this keygen thing, so I decided to bargain for it with my life savings of almost no virtual currency. My bargain paid off since now I somehow got into Spamton's basement. Surely there's no way for him to keep me locked in here and sell my organs for virtual currency. Well, no, but there's another elevator and I'm having so much fun! Okay, he let me out of his basement, but now he wants to make a deal with me. So the first thing I did after going back to the junkyard was going straight back to his basement. I put the disc he gave me into a random mechanism I found, and then nothing happened. Thank god I didn't get scammed. Great, so now I can finally go back and- WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! Turns out I got scammed after all, but maybe the real scam was the friends I made along the way. With the help of Susie and Rousey, our battle against Spamton Neo was the history's most intense struggle since Hannibal's crossing of the Alps that killed 36 elephants. This luckily didn't kill any elephants, only the good old me. And then the good old Spanton right after. Okay, now that Spanton's dead, I will analyze my fight with him like every other war general would. We fought him in carts, which might be a reference to the minecarts in Hypixel Skyblock that take you to the Crystal Hollows. But in the Crystal Hollows, there's no signs of Spanton. Only weird looking tribesmen that kill you in one shot. Maybe I'm just not strong enough to fight them? Nope. Even after having my best friend become a chicken, they still kill me in one shot. That is one big shot they pack. Wait. Big shot. Spamton wanted to become a big shot himself. I rewatched my fight with him and I found this. Wait, how long is the song that plays when I fight him? Oh my god. Could this be? Could this actually be? A reference to... To Alias Heaven? By the way, you should join it with the link in the description.